What's up, gamers? Gamer Dad here, back for another item shop review. It is Friday, August 18th, just past 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Canada, which means we have an item shop refresh. Want to give a shout out to two of my new subscribers. Shout out and thanks to Maddie Green as well as Joanne Flynn. Thanks to you both for subscribing. As well, thanks to those who subscribed in the past 24 hours, but due to your privacy settings, I can't see your name and give you a proper shout out. If you're watching and you haven't already done so, please do hit that subscribe button. And lastly, don't forget to use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is Gamer Dad, all one word, all capital letters. Thanks for your support, and without further ado, let's get in the review. As you can see, we have the Marvel outfits returning to the item shop this evening. I've got a feeling it is going to be a big item shop. First up, the Adamantium Claws Pack. So this features the Adamantium Claws Pickaxe from the Zero War set, Chapter 3, Season 3. And the Snicket, Snick I'm not sure how they exactly pronounce that, but... It's an interesting emote, 800 V-Bucks. We then have the X-23 bundle. So X-23 is from Chapter 3, Season 4. She's got two different outfit styles. You also get the Clone Pod back bling. The X-23's Adamantium Claws pickaxe. And the X-Insignia animated and reactive wrap. 1900 V-Bucks for the bundle. Otherwise, you can get the outfit with the back bling, the wrap, or the pickaxe on their own. Next up, the Silver Surfer Bundle, featuring Silver Surfer from Chapter 2, Season 4. You also get the Herald's Star Back Bling, the Silver Surfer's Surfboard Glider, and the Silver Surfer Pickaxe. Uh, pickaxe. So, obviously, it, it's not this cheap normally. I do own two of the items, so it's 1,700 V-Bucks. I imagine it's maybe 1,600. Um, otherwise, you can get the outfit with the back bling, the pickaxe, or the glider on their own. Next up, the blade bundle. So, blade is from Chapter 2, Season 4. Comes in two different outfit styles. You also get the Sword of the Daywalker back bling and the Sword of the Daywalker pickaxe, which is reactive. And of course, um, you can equip the Sword of the Daywalker as a back bling or pickaxe. You have the Dayflyer glider. It's a cool looking glider. And the Daywalker's kata emote. 2300 V-Bucks for the bundle. Otherwise, you get the outfit with the back bling and pickaxe, the glider, or the emote on their own. Next up, the Ghost Rider bundle. Ghost Riders introduced Chapter 2, Season 4. Got this cool flaming skull. You also have the Infernal Chain back bling. The Soul Fire Chains pickaxe. The Ghost Glider. Glider. This is a pretty cool glider, no doubt. We have the Skull Fire animated wrap. 2600 V-Bucks for the bundle, otherwise you get the outfit with the back bling, the pickaxe, the wrap, or the glider on their own. Next up, the Deadpool mashups. So first up is Ravenpool from Chapter 2, Season 2. I like those eyes, they're all ominous with the uh, black around them. We then have the Ravenpool's cage back bling, the Cuddlepool outfit, and the Cuddlepool's bow back, uh, back bling. 2,000 V-Bucks. Otherwise, you can get the outfits with their back blings. Then we have the Deadpool Gear Bundle, featuring the Dragacorn Glider, the Scootin' Traversal Emote, the Chimichanga Emote, and the Meaty Mallets Pickaxe. 2,000 V-Bucks for that gear bundle. Otherwise, you get any of the items from the bundle on their own. Next up, the X-Force Outfits. First up is Psylocke from Chapter 2, Season 2. Just the one outfit style. You then have the Shirayuki back bling, the Domino outfit, the Domino pack back bling, the Cable outfit. He's beastly, that's for sure. Then we have the Cable Cloak back bling. 3,000 V-Bucks. You can have the hood up or the hood down for that outfit. So 3,000 V-Bucks for the bundle. Otherwise, you can get either of the outfits with their back blings. We then have the X-Force Gear Bundle. So this features the Psy Blade Pickaxe, the Psy Rider Glider, the Probability Daggers Pickaxe, and the Unstoppable Force Pickaxe. 2,000 V-Bucks for the bundle. Otherwise, you get any of those items on their own. Next up, the Daredevil Bundle. Daredevil introduced Chapter 2, Season 4. It's got two different outfit styles. You also get the Radar Senses Back Bling, the Daredevil's Billy Club's Pickaxe, two different styles, and the Devil's Wings Glider, also with two styles. 2200 V-Bucks for the bundle, 
Otherwise, you can get the outfit with the back bling, the pickaxe, or the glider on their own. Next up, the Black Widow snowsuit bundle. So you get the Black Widow snowsuit outfit here. I like the look of it. We got the Widow's light back bling, the Widow's fang pickaxe, and the Widowmaker glider. 2200 V Bucks for the bundle. Otherwise, you get the outfit with the back bling, the glider, or the pickaxe on the own. Next up, Dark Phoenix. She's from Chapter 2, Season 8. Comes with the Phoenix Force back bling and the Wrath of the Phoenix loading screen. 1500 V Bucks for those three items. We have the Rising Phoenix emote, 300 V Bucks. Next up, the Rogue and Gambit bundle. So, first up is Gambit from Chapter 3, Season 1. Then the Kinetic Cards back bling. Then we have the Rogue outfit. The Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters back bling. And the Rogan Gambit loading screen. 2100 V-Bucks for the bundle. Otherwise you get either of those outfits with their back blings. Then you've got the Rogue and Gambit gear bundle. Featuring the Blackbird glider. I think this is a cool looking glider. The Suit Surfer glider. Also cool. We have the Hollow X-Axe pickaxe, the Lebeau's Bow pickaxe, the deal em out emote, and the Hands-Off emote. So it's 1800 V-Bucks for that gear bundle, otherwise you can get any of the items from that gear bundle on their own. Next up is Venom. So Venom is from Chapter 2 Season 4, he's got two different outfit styles. You then get the Tendril Tote back bling. The Symbiote Slasher Pickaxe, which can only be held or wielded by Venom. Then the We Are Venom built-in emote. 2,000 V-Bucks for those items. We then have the Spider-Man Zero Bundle. So this features the Spider-Man Zero Outfit from Chapter 3, Season 3. You could earn this uh, outfit for free if you were buying the comics a little while back. We have the Spider-Drone Back Bling, also available by purchasing, purchasing and claiming the code inside the comic. Then we have the Web Slicer Pickaxe and the Spidey Landing Emo. So of course it's not 300 V-Bucks, that's only because I own the two items. Probably closer to the 1600 V-Buck range. Um, otherwise you can get the outfit with the back bling on their own. Next up, Mary Jane Watson from Chapter 3, Season 2. Along with the Web Shredder Back Bling and the Web Shredder Pickaxe. So it can be equipped as either a back bling or pickaxe and it's 1500 V-Bucks. We then have the Web Slicer Pickaxe for 800 V-Bucks, or that Spidey Landing emote on their own as well. Then we have the Iron Man Zero bundle. So here's Iron Man Zero from Chapter 3, uh, Season 4. We have three different outfit styles for this Iron Man outfit. You also get the Repulsor Pack Back Bling, which has two styles. Then we have the Bladed Gauntlet Pickaxe with two styles. The Zero War Frontlines loading screen. The Iron Man Revealed built-in emote. And the Stark 7 Wrap. Also, this was received by claiming codes, I believe, from the comics. It's animated, it's reactive, and it looks pretty darn sweet. So the bundle, I imagine, is a little bit more than 1,500 V-Bucks since I do own one of the items. Next up is Moon Knight from Chapter 3, Season 2. Got three different styles. You have a Cape Off option and the Mr. Knight option, as well as that default. And you also get the Moon Knight's Cloak Back Bling for 1,500 V-Bucks. You also get the Crescent Darts Pickaxe for 500 V-Bucks. Next up, the Scarlet Witch Bundle. So Scarlet Witch was introduced in Chapter 3, Season 2. She's got two styles, the Sorceress as well as the default Scarlet Witch. You also get Wanda's Cloak Back Bling with two styles. By the way, the outfit lights up as you deal damage. You then have the Chaos Hand Axe Pickaxe. The Psychic Energy Manipulation Emote. And lastly, the Through the Mirror Dimension loading screen. 1800 V-Bucks for that bundle. Otherwise, you can get the outfit with the back bling, the pickaxe, or the emote on their own. Next up, the Hulk bundle. Hulk was introduced in Chapter 4, Season 1. He's definitely hulky. Very big and brute looking. As he should be. Then we have the Gamma Chamber back bling. The Demolisher pickaxe. The Hulk Smash emote. And the Warning Gamma Rays Spray. The back bling, by the way, charges up with eliminations. And it's 1800 V-Bucks for the bundle. Otherwise, you get the outfit with the back bling, 
the emote or the pickaxe on their own. Next up is Thanos from Chapter 2 Season 7. Along with the Infinity Gauntlet Back Bling for 1500 V-Bucks. We also have the Snap Emote from Season 4, 200 V-Bucks. The Hulk Smashers Pickaxe is 1200 V-Bucks. It's got two different styles. And of course, next we have the Gods of Thunder Pack. So it's 2500 V-Bucks. You get the Thor Odinson uh, outfit. You get the full charge style option. And you can turn the cape off or on. You then have the Thor's Cape Back Bling. We have the Mighty Thor outfit. It's got four styles. The full charge option as well as the cape off or cape on. Then you have the Mighty Thor's Cape Back Bling. The Stormbreaker Pickaxe. Then you have the Stormbreaker's Flight Glider, which is pretty sweet. We have the Reformed Majolner uh, Pickaxe. The Majolner's Fight Glider. The Gods of Thunder Loading Screen. And lastly, the Bring the Hammer Down Emote. 2,500 V-Bucks is a pretty sweet deal for all of the, those uh, outfits and gear. We then have the Captain America outfit from Chapter 2 Season 3. Along with the Proto Adamantium Shield Back Bling and the Pickaxe of the same name. 2,000 V-Bucks. We then have the Grand Salute Emote. 300 V-Bucks. Just when I thought it was about to end, we have the Captain America and the bright, brightest, or the bright star uh, bundle. So first up is Captain America, the Sam Wilson MCU version. Cool looking outfit. The Cap Shield back bling and the Cap Shield pickaxe. And then at the X07 Falcon Wings glider, the Brave and Bright wrap. It is animated and reactive. And we have the Captain America and the bright star loading screen. And of course, the Bright Star outfit. I do own this. I think it's a really cool looking outfit. You get the Bomber style or the default Bright Star. And the red, bright, and blue colors or the default colors. Then we have the Bright Shield back bling and the Bright Shield pickaxe. So 800 V-Bucks for me. This is actually a pretty sweet deal. Um, I may pick this up in the next couple days I imagine these Marvel items will be around otherwise I imagine this is about a 2,000 and so bundle otherwise you get the outfits with the Captain America you get the glider and pickaxe or that wrap on their own so next up is the Green Goblin bundle Green Goblin introduced in chapter 3 season 1 creepy looking the pumpkin bomb back bling the arm the pumpkin emote the pumpkin piax pickaxe, the goblin glider, and lastly the attack of the goblin loading screen. 2100 V-Bucks for the bundle, otherwise you get the outfit with the back bling, the glider, the emote, or the pickaxe on their own. Next up, the Shang-Chi bundle. Shang-Chi was introduced in Chapter 2, Season 7. You also have the Great Protector's Shield back bling, the Blades of Brother Hand pickaxe, and the Dragon Scale wrap. 1800 V-Bucks for that bundle, Otherwise, you get the outfit with the back bling, the pickaxe, or the wrap on their own. Next up, the Star-Lord bundle. Star-Lord was introduced in Season 8. Comes with the Star-Lord pack of back bling. The dance-off emote. The Milano glider. And the Guardian Axe pickaxe. 2,500 V-Bucks for that bundle. Otherwise, you can get the outfit with the back bling, the emote, the pickaxe, or the glider on their own. Next, Gamora bundle. So Gamora's from Chapter 2, Season 7. Also comes with the Gamora's Cloak, Back Bling, the God Slayer Pickaxe, and the God Slayer Glide Lord Glider. 2,200 V-Bucks for the bundle. Otherwise, you get the outfit with the Back Bling, the Pickaxe, or that Surfing Glider on their own. Wowzers, the Marvel items never end. So we also have Ant-Man in a bundle here from Chapter 2, Season 5, along with the Antonio Back Bling, the Mighty Ant Emote, and the Toothpick Pickaxe for 2100 V-Bucks. Otherwise, you get the outfit with the back bling, the emote of the pickaxe on their own. Next up, the Nick Fury bundle. Nick Fury was introduced in Chapter 2, Season 8. The Field Pack of Back Bling is also included. The Director's Scythe Pickaxe. The First Strike Infiltration Glider. As well as the Quinjet's In-Flight Loading Screen. 2000 V-Bucks for the bundle. Otherwise, you get the outfit with the back bling, the pickaxe, or the glider on their own. Next up is the Hawkeye Bundle, featuring Clint Barton from Chapter 3, Season 1. 
the Hawk Guys Arsenal back bling, the Kate Bishop outfit, the Kate's Quiver back bling, the Pick Cross Bow pickaxe, the Tout Slicer or Tot Slicer pickaxe, the Aerial Archer glider, and the Hawk Guys loading screen. So it's 2400 V-Bucks for the bundle. Otherwise, you get either of the outfits with their back blings, the glider, or those pickaxes on their own. Finally, out of Marvel and into the featured items. I hope there's not too many featured items. This is a crazy item shop. So, Twin Echo includes the Echo outfit from Chapter 2, Season 2. We have a default style, the Inverted, the Spectral Echo, as well as the Prismatic Echo styles. You also get the True Reflection back bling, Inverted, Fluid, and Expressive options. Then the Inversion Blades pickaxe. Dark, light, polychrome, and multi-hue styles. We have the Echo Jet Glider, with the dark and light style. I think I like the light style better. Then we have the Echo's Wrap. 1900 V-Bucks for the bundle. Otherwise, you can get the outfit with the back bling, the pickaxe, the glider, or the wrap on their own. Next up is the Lucha Bundle, featuring Dynamo from Season 5. Then the Masked Fury Outfit. The Pile Driver Pickaxe and the Libre Glider. 2200 V-Bucks for the bundle. Otherwise, you can get either the outfits, the pickaxe, or the glider on their own. Next up, the Wild Frontier bundle featuring a rustler from Chapter 2, Season 1. With the Leather Lugger Back Bling, the Wrangler outfit, the Saddlebag Back Bling, the Spurred Swinger Pickaxe, the Utility Axe Pickaxe, and the Rustler's Plaid Wrap. 2,000 V-Bucks for the bundle. Otherwise, you get either the outfits with their back blings, the pickaxes, or the wrap on their own. Next up, the daily items. We still have the Champion Celebration Emo at 300 V-Bucks. We have the Shadow Ops outfit from Season 1 with two different outfit styles. It comes with the Prospect back bling with two styles as well, and that's 1,500 V-Bucks. We have the Svenja, or Svenja outfit from Chapter 3, Season 4. Four different outfit styles for this Svenja outfit. I think it's Svenja. 800 V-Bucks. And then I have the Gold Digger pickaxe from Season 8 for 800 V-Bucks. The Shake It Up emote, 800 V-Bucks from Season 5. The Death Valley pickaxe from Season 1 is 1,500 V-Bucks. The Sprain emote from Chapter 2 Season 6 is 200 V-Bucks. And with the Marvel um, theme tonight, we also have the Marvel Royalty and Warriors pack. So it's very expensive, in my opinion, at $37. Quite frankly, I think it's like kind of ridiculously expensive. $40 for a bundle? Sheesh, you can almost buy a game at that price. So we have the Black Panther outfit with, with two styles. The King's Cowl back bling. Cool back bling. The Vibranium Daggers pickaxe. The Wakandan Skyrider glider. The Captain Marvel outfit, which has two different styles. Then the Kree backplate back bling, two styles. The Alpha Staff pickaxe. The Power of Marvel glider. The Taskmaster outfit. The Mimic Shield back bling. And lastly, the Copycat Sword pickaxe. So again, $37.49 seems absolutely ridiculous for a bundle, but hey, who am I to say? And as if that wasn't enough, that is it for tonight's item shop refresh. From previous nights, we still have all of the free Rainbow Royale items here, two rows worth of stuff, get them all you can. We have the FNCS Renegade bundle, the Jujutsu Kaisen, Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair, the level up quest pack. So in terms of my favorite additions to the crazy huge item shop this evening, it's hard to pick stuff out of the Marvel items. There's tons of cool stuff. Ghost Rider's cool. Um, Spider-Man Zero I like. Moon Knight is cool. There's honestly just too much in there. I love the Bright Star outfit. I really do feel like it's a, it's a bit much for one night's item shop, though. And then on the cheap side, I do like that Spenja outfit at 800 V-Bucks. So comment down below. Let me know what your favorite item is. Let me know if you're picking up anything from the shop tonight. Please drop a like in the video. And if you're watching and you haven't already done so, please do hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't already done so, Please do make sure you support me and include my um, creator code in your item shop this evening. It is GamerDad, all one word, all capital letters. And just like it did for me there, every 14 days it will expire and you do need to add it in again.
Thank you so much for your support. Have a good evening. Until the next video, this is GamerDad out.